What is up YouTube? It is your boy Ojama Garrett. And in this episode, I'm gonna try to teach you how to be good at everything, how to get good at everything in about five minutes. And it will, won't will take too much time, so stick around until the end. I know you're gonna gain a lot of value out of this. And if you do kind of just stick with this plan, this strategy, then you will, you will be able to get good at anything. And a very simple, this applies to pretty much everything you can think of. So with that being said, let's just hop right into the uh, strategy real quick. And that is, starts with a lifting story. I know, sorry, just hold on. Don't click off yet. Don't click off. It'll make sense after I'm done. So there's this lifting program called five by five strong lifts. Okay. And it is two workouts. It's an A, B and an A, B workout. So essentially that means on Monday I do A, Wednesday I do B and we're alternating days. So then Friday I'll do A again and then B, A, B, A, B, right? And the exercises don't really matter, but we're doing squat five by five, 45. That's why it's called five by five, bench five by five, 45, roll five by five, 45. And then workout B, squat 5x5, 45, overhead press 5x5, 45, deadlift 1x5, 95 pounds. Not really important that why that is. It's just the way the, uh, the program is set up. So you alternate days. I already said that. But then when you complete the sets, uh, you add 5 pounds to them right here. So like say, for instance, when I work out 1, if I do squat 5x5 five five and I succeed in all 5 of those and I work out B, I'm doing 50 instead of uh, 45 Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So every day that I complete sets for squat, I gain five pounds, and then every day I complete bench, um, I will gain five pounds, and etc. So every day I'll be gaining five pounds in squat, and then every other day, uh, bench will be gaining going up five, row will be going up five pounds, overhead press will be going up five pounds, deadlift will be going up five pounds, etc. 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 Now, why is this like this? And it's for a few reasons. Uh, one is it's easy. So that's the main point. It's easy. So because it's easy, we can focus on form to make sure we don't injure ourselves. And then two, the most important part, establish the habit. Uh, so once it's easy, you establish the habit. Uh, you go to the gym, you know, if, uh, if anybody's ever gotten a trainer before, when you go to get a trainer, they kind of like, they get you good. Or if you ever done like a program or whatever, a lot of these programs like P90X, all this other stuff, after your first workout, you really feel it. If you've ever worked out, you really feel it. You get really sore and you never want to do it again because if it starts off hard, it's going to make it hard to start again because if, if it's hard, then you know what I mean. Uh, if you go to the gym and you do these real ridiculously low weights, which this might not be uh, easy for everybody, but still, um, it's easier for most people. So because of that, it's easier to establish the habit. So by the time we are squatting, uh, we're going to go 15 pounds of squat a week. So times four, four, 60 pounds times three. Uh, this may seem like a lot to a lot of people. Sorry, uh, 60 pounds times three. This may seem like a lot, 225 may seem like a lot to a lot of people, but it's not that difficult once you've been doing it for a while. Uh, most people can do this. Um, but by the time it starts to get hard, so starting to get hard, it happens at three months because squat's gonna go up the fastest, but at three months, it'll start to get hard. And after you do something for three months, you don't really need to think about it, okay? So now we've established the habit. So when it gets hard, um, you want, you don't wanna fail. Once you have a fat habit, you get in the habit of uh, increasing the weight. Now you don't want to. Now you don't want to fail, okay? So now, how, how does this apply to the rest of you? I'm gonna to try to break this down really quickly. So for example, uh, me using this strategy, I've squatted, I've benched, I've done everything. More, like I'm not, I'm not like a bodybuilder by any means, but I'm just saying, I have, I've squatted 385 five by five. I've benched 235 five by five. And I'd be like, that's not crazy. It's not the greatest, but it, I have, it's considered good, at least squatting. And I love squatting. So I'd be like, that's what I'm saying. How do you apply this to everything else? This is the important part. You just literally, Build it to five by five, just five by five, everything, five by five, everything. Okay. So pick something, um, you want to get good at, it starts with basic things. So going to bed at time, say you, you, you stay up till 2am every day, right? And then you need to go to bed. If you go to bed earlier, you'll be able to get up earlier. You'll be able to be more productive. Now, instead of just trying to go to bed at 8.30 PM, uh, go to bed at day one, one fifty nine. AM, you know, and then day two, or just do it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, roll it back one minute every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Does that make sense? So then boom, 158 on Wednesday. Now you're going to go up to 157 on Friday. You know what I mean? It's simple. And it's just, doesn't that seem easy Too stoop too? It's too easy to fail. It's too easy to fail, but you just get into the habit of doing it over and over and over again. And you're just going to, you know, if you did that for three months, it's three minutes three months it sounds silly but three t 
times four is 12 times three is 36 minutes. Now you're already rolled back. Like you could obviously, like if you started off like that, it's, it's too easy to fail. It doesn't even start to get hard until six months. But if you just did a minute every day just to scale it up a little bit, because I feel like you'd, most people would just be able to scale it up a little bit, then you'd, be, you'd start to fail. You could do it with dieting. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, you know, these uh, this calorie, you know, you need to eat 2,500 calories is what you eat, but you need to get to 1,800 to be able to get into a calorie deficit so that you can lose weight. Instead of starting and trying to do 1,800 calories, going from 2,500 to 18 calories, how about you start with 2,450 for the first day? And then, you know, take away 50 calories on Wednesday. Just commit. Just commit to easy things. Commit to easy things and go up. And, uh, you know what I mean? So if we take make a little graph here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you just progressively walk it up over a long period of time, start easy, make it consistent. Same thing as five by five here. Add five pounds to your task, to the thing you want to, you know, maybe it's reading. You want to read for, uh, start with a minute read for a minute it's so easy you feel stupid not being able to do it that's the whole base of the premise and i promise if you do this apply this logic to anything you will literally get good at anything so with that being said now that my camera lagged out again i need to stop, stop this video i probably should have recorded it but i needed to get this piece of content done if you if this helped you please like comment subscribe what you want to hear about i hope this helps somebody even if it's one person it's good enough but i guarantee if you apply this i just cannot say enough if you apply this strategy you will succeed at everything. You will get good at everything. You can apply this to literally any skill. Any skill is just the amount of time into something. So you can just apply this to anything. I can't I can't say it any other way. If you just do this, if you just do this, you will get good at everything. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you later.